So I'm going to show you how to do uh, paint, uh, in this case, an earring, a five-strand earring, with a solid color. Um, and we're going to do a combination of two colors. I'm going to make a pink out of white and red. And then I'm going to uh, make a light blue with white and blue for my second coat. Um, but let's just concentrate on the first coat. I'm going to put in equal amounts of, of white, just very little, and red. And then uh, roughly equal to that, uh, I'm going to add wood glue. And you'll notice I've also got a little bit of water in there. And that's just to thin it. And the reason why I want it a little bit thin is so it'll get in these nooks and, and crannies. Uh, you'll also notice I have a glove on one hand, and that's just to keep my fingerprints off, off the work. Well, and, and that helps with cleanup. So I mix this, uh, this pink color together. Just like that. And I paint a coat of it right on the earring. And notice I'm working that paint into the nooks and crannies. That's kind of important. <clears throat> Getting this nice sort of bubblegum color, if you will. Look at that. And uh, next I'm going to paint the other one and, and allow them to dry before I do my second coat. But I need to make sure I get in every little, every little nook. Just like that. And I'll set this aside to dry a moment and then I'll paint the area where I was holding it. So we'll just let that dry for a moment. So now my earrings have dried and they're ready for a second coat. And I want to do a light blue, so I've got white. And I'm going to mix this coat very, very thin. It, it just, it, I just want to have the, the pigment, the color, come through in, in my mixture. Uh, and and it, it shouldn't be thick. So I'm, I'm adding very little, very small amounts of paint to this uh, water. And you'll notice I've got a fair amount of water in, in, this, in this cup. And then I add some glue. And I add about the same amount of glue as I just added paint. A little bit more. Um, and I mix that, mix that up. And you'll see I've got this nice light blue color. Just like that. And it's very thin. It's about the thickness of whole milk. So it's, it's not even as thick as cream. And I'm going to work this into the nooks and crannies of my, of my earrings, just like I did uh, with the pink. But you'll see it builds up on the surface tremendously. Uh, so I need to sort of work this color in and around. And I'm not drying my brush off. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to work the color in. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us sort of a, a varied, a, a, a variable color finish. The, the, the final color is going to vary a little bit. It, it looks very interesting. It also looks very hard to do, <laughs> which is one of the neat things about this art form. I need just a little bit more on the inside here. But I'm, I'm not... I'm working this in, and what I actually want to do is, is allow a buildup to occur on these, on these edges. And what that ends up doing is it ends up highlighting the edges. It makes the piece look a little bit more complex than it actually is. And I just work that around. And uh, I'll now do the other earring. And then I'll come back and do this, this little area where I've been holding it. 
So now my earrings have dried, and look at this wonderful color that, uh, that, that I've attained here. I've got this pink in the background, but I also have this uh, haze of blue, and it, it, it varies. The blue varies on top of that pink. So we really, we've gotten a, a, just an absolutely beautiful color.